Have you ever wanted a really, really stupid way to remember types? Well, allow me to introduce myself. We have here a shape toy. A shape toy is a toy that has shapes. It has cutouts of shapes and shapes that fit in the shapes. Specifically in this one, we have squares and circles. The squares go in the square holes and the circles go in the circle holes, unlike the meme you may be familiar with. Now let's pretend for a moment like we're itty bitty baby children. And our parents just got us a brand new shape toy. And our first move, in our infinite wisdom, is to put the circle in the square hole. Why isn't this working? We wonder to ourselves as we repeatedly try to shove the circle in the square hole. And that's when we get the idea, okay, let's try the square. And it works, first try. Let's go! Round two, fight. This time our challenger is the circle hole. And we put a circle in and it goes in. Woo! But then we have another square to fit in. So we just try the same thing because we oh. haven't learned anything yet. Would you be surprised to learn that it doesn't work? Now if only there were some sort of advanced warning system in place so that we could know what errors could happen ahead of time. Introducing the revolutionary new product, TS Check. By putting this one comment at the top of your file, you are able to turn on TypeScript compatibility, kind of. You see, TypeScript is already running under the hood, but putting this comment here allows TypeScript to jump in and say, Stop right there, criminal scum! You're breaking the law! Except if you're very astute, you may have realized that it's not doing anything yet. And that's because of a thing called any. Any is, well, a very generic type. It can be literally anything. And an array with anything in it, can have anything pushed to it. So to fix this, we add some JS doc or documentation, and this allows us to assign types to variables or parameters or whatnot. This allows us to say, hey, only put this type of variable in this array, okay? Nothing else. And so with our powers combined, we make errors. <coughs> But because of our errors, we're able to see our mistakes and we're able to grow and learn and yada yada yada. Cool friendship stuff. And debugging. That's that's what we're getting at here. You, <laughs> you can see the errors before they happen, okay? <laughs> One of these without the other is practically nothing. JS doc will give you some nice IntelliSense documentation, but it won't throw you any errors without TS check. And TS check by itself can be pretty worthless. So next time you're writing code and you want to be type safe, just remember, you're an itty bitty child baby.